and Talus have both breached the monastery. And for the sake of Fodland's future, we will make it there too. The barriers conjured by the enemy will hinder the movement of our troops. Then we've no choice but to proceed in two groups. Take care that neither one is wiped out. No, I don't want to die. You should rescue Count Varley if at all possible. It will not be easy to find another man to wear the mic. There's a structural weakness in that wall. A heavily armored unit might be able to break through and expedite the rescue. My turn. Thanks. Take a breather. Watch this. A new path has been cleared. Let's take it. They've broken through the walls? No! Send reinforcements at once! The Southern Church's bishop is an enemy of the goddess and must be destroyed. I am the bishop of the Southern Church, and you are obligated to protect me! Now do so and be quick about it. I 
always do with you. Ah! It ends here. No escape. Where did he go? We need to dispel those barriers at once. If he retreated to the upper floors, I do not see how we can reach him. But there must be some way around the barriers. We've received multiple reports of enemy troops appearing out of thin air. Perhaps they have some sort of warping device. Thanks. Chris, I certainly saw this we should check every hiding place we can think of. I have seen such warping devices beneath the monastery. They are controlled by a separate mechanism located elsewhere. Then we need to find that, too? Oh. I'll tell you apart! We're already in two groups. Let's continue the search. These infernal black walls are preventing me from reaching Lady Rhea. And now the Imperial reinforcements are closing in. Well, I'll just have to go intercept them myself. Use the catapults to crush the rebels below! They're attacking from above! We have to stop those catapults! I don't have any interest in exchanging words with you. You attack. Watch this. And that's all I need to know. No more hurling at the boulders. by itself. My turn. <laughs> D 
Does this mean we can work now? I've awaited. I'm in. Hold it together. Let's use the device to go after that dark mage. Good. The device works. Mycet is in danger. Help him! Intervene before we take any more casualties. So this is where I expire. I pray you might finish what must be done, Thomas. The dark barriers have vanished. Now we can rejoin our forces. That dark magic has dissipated. Now I can finally escape. I mean, strategically retreat. I'll fight until my dying breath to protect Lady Rhea. Oh, Cyril, the wounds you carry. Please be safe. is my witness. This is as far as you go! Annihilate them and reclaim all that is ours! Don't stop down! Not when the future we seek is within our grasp! Not done yet! The last thing that was in our way! Well, except for the other things! No This is the moment we've been fighting for. Rhea and Talus will be waiting just ahead. It's a boon that the Empire's two greatest enemies are both within striking distance. Yet we mustn't forget they are capable of anything. 
This situation could very quickly become dire. No kidding. We're talking about the heads of the church and those who slither in the dark. I hope you are all mentally prepared. Because once this begins, we cannot afford to waste even a second. Lady Edelgard, we await your command. Through some strange twist of fate, we find ourselves capturing Garrick Mach for the second time. Our first victory signaled the start of the war. And today's victory will be a giant step toward ending it. Today, together, we usher in a new era. And at the end of this path lies our future. The time is now. All Imperial forces, advance! Stand against me! Your reckoning has come, Talus. Now you will pay for all that you did to my father and the Empire. No surrender! There! It ends here! The enemies that remain are undeserving of human mercy. On your command, we will purge them with fire! I no longer care. For the sake of the oh, you must die. Look out! Oh, you should care. Because I'm the one who's gonna kill me. Scarlet Blade, consume the old world and bring light to a new age. Brandish fire at us. We gave you those flames. We dispelled the tanks. Now all that remains is Rhea. How fitting that I should settle things with Rhea here in the cathedral. No matter how many years pass, you people will always be little more than fools. Return the land you stole from us! If you have left me with no other choice, what shall I mean? So be it. I will crush you where you stand! Can shapeshift too? With my true power. With that form. Then you are the immaculate. So be it. Today we destroy you and secure our future. Good. You're done! Out of the way! Well, I 
I suppose I can allow myself one day of truly giving my all. I've awaited this moment. Creatures, I will give you the burial you deserve. <laughs> Look out. I will not allow you to sully this sacred place. <sighs> then die along with it. There's no way they could have survived that. Well then, just one thing left. Must we do this now? Ugh. But I suppose you earned it. Just this once. At last, Fodlin has been freed from that which bound it. Today marks a momentous new chapter in its history. And we shall be its authors. It is now 1183, Blue Sea Moon. The Empire has freed Garig Mach and put the Knights of Seros and those who slither in the dark to rout. Amidst the fighting, Archbishop Rhea and Tallis both go missing. With no one to lead, the central church's influence wanes, and those who slither in the dark vanish. But due to Claude's breaking of a pact to serve his own ambitions, the Empire and Leicester Alliance soon return to war. Bloodshed between the three ruling powers of Fodlan Empire, Alliance, and the beleaguered kingdom rages on with no end in sight.
I went above and beyond.